Now we're going to go over the monitor panel in all of our travel trailer division and all the functionalities. Uh, first thing you're going to go over is going to be the uh, tank level sensors. So if I hold this, it's showing that my fresh water is currently full. My black water is empty. My gray water is empty. Uh, my battery is going to show two thirds uh, because solar charging now, if I'm plugged in, it'll show full at all times. Uh, as I consume fresh water, this four lights will go down to three, two, and one light. And as I consume the fresh water and put it into the holding tanks outside, uh, black and gray will go from empty to a third to two thirds to full. Anytime you're uh, two thirds flickering on full for black or gray, you want to discontinue use and get it discharged on the outside of the trailer. Uh, there is a, a sewer connection video as well that you can refer to. Water pump. If I am dry camping, I'm not hooked into a city water connection, I'm gonna leave the water pump on. It's an on-demand pump. It'll turn on as I uh, go to a faucet and try to utilize water. It'll catch back up and pressurize the system off of the 50 gallon freshwater holding tank underneath the trailer. Uh, if I'm on city water connection, I wanna leave that off so I'm not passively drawing water out of my uh, freshwater holding tank for no reason, because I will be able to have all of the city water pressure I need from uh, hooking up the water hose at my campsite. Second thing is gonna be the propane water heater. This turns on in about 20 seconds, it'll uh, light itself. It's all self lighting. And uh, it's gonna take 20 minutes for initial heating and 20 minutes for recovery between each shower. So wait 20 minutes before the next person takes a shower. And then after you're done washing dishes for the night or, uh, or taking your shower, you wanna turn this back off so you're not just uh, burning propane for no reason. It only takes 20 minutes to heat back up. Other switches are gonna be a lot of light switches, main light switch, uh, slide room light will be a pretty cool blue light above the slide. You can see it right there. That's that switch. Uh, convenience light is gonna be the outside scare light uh, that faces the patio. Uh, big bright light, you can turn it on whenever at nighttime you're trying to set up camp or hang out outside. Awning light will be another really cool blue LED light strip on the outside of the trailer. Couple other things, slide room. This is slide out and slide in button. Uh, it's push and, hell, push and hold in order for uh, the slide to actuate and run out or in. Check the bedroom door before you run the slide room out because if the bedroom door is left open, you can do some severe damage to the door and it's right over there behind that slide as you can see pretty tight. So as I push and hold the out button here, you're gonna see this uh, nice super slide start to extend. I'm gonna hold this button until the slide goes all the way out and turns both of the motors off in the slide system itself. So it's gonna run all the way out and when it runs out that far, it's gonna press the seals and seal everything up and get everything nice and watertight. We don't really want to halfway open the slide or halfway close the slide, all the way out or all the way in. Now you have all this awesome floor space in here. Second thing is gonna be the awning extend and retract. I can push and hold this for it to run the awning on the outside out, awning uh, on the outside in. Our awning rules are, so Nashville RV calls an occupied shade awning, not a go to dinner, go to bed, go uh, hiking awning. If you unoccupy the outside of the vehicle, make sure you put the awning up. 100% customer responsibility and they're very expensive uh, for customers to have to replace. So uh, run that in, it's very simple, 20 seconds, push a button, running in and out. Um, also, if you wanna log into the LCI app, you can scan this QR code and you can control everything on this monitor panel from your smartphone in the LCI app. Uh, here is the monitor panel.